Hello! Today we make lemon curd. Lemon curd is actually an egg-based canned good, and I thought it was milk-based, so joke's on me. Eggs are kind of notoriously one of those bad boys of canning, but this has so much acidity from the lemons in it that it's safe to use in a water bath can method. First we wash our lemons well. My egg yolks and whole eggs are coming up to room temperature on the counter while everything else is being prepared. Sterilizing my jars. Everything is washed and ready to go. We need a few special supplies. A lemon zester. Our good thermometer with the clip on the back. A double boiler and a kettle to keep some extra boiling water so I can top off the double boiler as it evaporates. I also have another smaller thermometer. We zest our lemons. You just want that barest bit of the outside rind. You want to avoid any of this bitter white pith. These guys are ready. Now we're going to turn down the heat and pop on our thermometer. We're going to leave our jars in there while taking the temperature down to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to juice these new dudes. I'm not worried about the seeds or pulp. I'm going to be sieving that out at the end. We're ready. Ingredients assembled. Whisk the eggs first. And now the sugar. The zest is next. And now the juice. Now we're going to add our cold chunked butter, put it back on the boiler, and heat it until it is 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That cold chunked butter will work in slowly. Don't stop whisking. We want a one half inch head gap. Perfect. We're going to load these guys back into our canner, which has been holding at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Slowly start increasing the heat until the water boils. This should take about 25 to 30 minutes. It does look like I might be getting a little bit of siphoning. We'll have to see how it turns out. Once we hit that boil, we're going to hold it for 15 minutes. Kill our heat. Now we're going to let our jars rest off of the heat, but still in the canner, for five more minutes. This should help us avoid the siphoning of the contents from the temperature shock. Because these guys had such a long processing time, we're going to actually cover them with a towel to kind of keep them from cooling too quickly. Lemon curd is a little different than other kinds of jams and jellies. It'll only keep for about four months. Shelf staple, but you can freeze it and keep it up to a year. And now, after all this work, 